All right, what's going on, everybody? I am back, and it's going to be a TTM Tuesday episode. Um, gosh, I thought I had these counted out. I want to say 15 returns today. One, two, three. Yeah, 15 returns. Um, and these are football, baseball, and some hockey. And uh, a lot of these are ones that I've sent out recently. I've just kind of gone through a couple of recent uh, trends where I will just crank out requests over the weekend and I will just send out a ton and then I tend to get those back fairly quickly you know and, I, and I'm you know I'll take some some long shots on uh, on guys but for the most part with postage what it is I try to you know send to guys that I have a pretty good odds of getting back just because I don't want to waste my stamps and my cards and stuff so um, like I say I do take some shots but uh, for the most part I send them out, and then within a reasonable amount of time, they come back. And uh, so I've got 15 returns today. So um, I will start out with, I'll try to just go by sport. And uh, I will go with my baseball returns first. Um, this first one is a guy that, uh, I don't think he ever played in the big leagues, but he was a coach, and he's in a lot of the minor league baseball set, sets from the early 90s. Rick Adair, and uh, I had a couple of these that I sent, and I got them signed. I'll just show one. He's on this card with Jim Gambella, and Jim is also a very good TTM signer, and so that was kind of my main reason in sending that, is I saw that they were both good signers, and so I wanted to, I figured that'd be kind of a good chance to get a dual card done, so that was kind of the reason I reached out to Rick, but then I also had a couple other cards of his as well, so I just sent those in got those done for my collection i've never gotten uh rick adair before so uh so it's kind of a good deal i got you know got a new got a new uh player in the uh, collection or coach in this case and uh and i'm going to try to send those off and get that uh, multiple that multi-card from the early 90s finished off so um rick adair so the next one is a two for two success and uh this is from scott melvin and this is the reason that I originally sent to Scott is because I had this dual uh, Hamil was it Hamilton Redbirds card that was already signed by Chris Maloney. I was able to meet him when he was a, I believe he was the manager of, I don't think he was a coach, I think he was the actual manager of the Memphis Redbirds in AAA, uh, the St. Louis Cardinals affiliate. I met him in person a couple years ago when they came through town. And I saw that he had this card with Scott Melvin, and Scott is a good signer. So I thought, you know what? I want to try to finish off some of these partially signed multiplayer cards if I can. Um, and then I had this one of Scott Melvin as well. And then I'll have to look into Marty Mason, see if Marty's a good signer. Maybe I can ship that one off, get that one finished off. And uh, so that was kind of those two, kind of the reasoning behind those. Um, I did see that Ron Gardenhire has been signing recently, and so I wanted to jump on the uh, Ron Gardenhire train while that was still a good opportunity to get him. I've never gotten Gardy before. Got him on that 85 Tops New York Mets card, and then I got him on a 1983 Fleer New York Mets card. Got the card of him signing autographs, autographed, so that's always kind of a cool thing. And then, of course, I did get a couple of Twins cards in there. Got the 06 Tops. And then these, I love these. I have a whole bunch of these from my uh, 0910 years of collecting. The DAV Twin Set, Ron Gardenhire. So 4 for 4 from Ron Gardenhire. Was excited to get, uh, get him. And I'd never gotten him. Again, a lot of these guys I've been targeting are just guys that I haven't gotten before. Uh, I just like to get some new, kind of some new blood to the collection. And then this next one was awesome because this gets me on the board. Tony, I am on the board. I need to update the spreadsheet. Um, I was bummed he did not sign this card. I love getting minor league cards done. Um, I don't know if he didn't see it or if he's just like, bro, like I am not signing five cards for you. I will sign four. So he did four. So I got the 92 tops Cubs. The 93 tops. The 92 Donruss. And then lastly, this is for the Tony Black Collection. I am on the board with my first stadium club, Bob Scanlon. So I will update the uh, spreadsheet on there. Um, this next one, this is an awesome return for me because uh, I love the graph. And he was a good player. 
and uh, I'd never gotten it. My buddy, my buddy, uh, you know, we t text and talk to each other. We used to do a lot of in-person graphing here in Utah together, and uh, he lives a ways away, so he texts a lot. And he texted me recently and was like, "Tell me some returns." He got back, and one of them was Toby Hara. I'd never gotten Toby Hara before for some reason. I thought that he charged, and I don't know if. I just got him mixed up with maybe Bob Gritch, who I know charges. Uh, but anyway, I got on the Toby Hera train. Got him on the 83 Fleer. Um, this is one of my all-time favorite sets from my childhood. Anytime I get one of these signed, I do. Toby Hera on the 87 Tops. Picked him up on the 84 Tops. Got him on an 86. And then we also was able to get him on an 81 Fleer. So really excited to add a Toby to my collection. And then I also, this is a recent one that came back. And my buddy that I was just mentioning, he has been texting me every day. Dude, I didn't get mine back yet. Like when I told him I got mine. So he's he's just waiting with bated breath at his mailbox to get Steve McCaddy. Uh, he sent his return off quite a while ago. And... Uh, this one had been out for a while. This isn't one of the ones I sent recently. This one did take longer. I don't remember how long, but uh, I got Steve McCaddy. He did sign all. I got him on the 83, 85 tops. And these do, you know, they look nice too. I mean, the black Sharpie looks good. No streaking or anything. 81 tops. 86 tops. And then I got a couple of the older Don Russ stuff done. Got 83 or I'm sorry, 82, and then here's the 83. And uh, keeping up with this episode's theme of multiplayer card completion stuff, I obviously, you can tell I recently went through and tightened up and organized some of my cards because I went through a lot of these partial signed multiplayer cards, and I started thinking, okay, I love getting multi-cards done, and I just went through and I'm like, okay, how many of this, like the other half that I need sign? So I've been trying to sort of go through and knock knock some of these out. And that's the theme of this one as well. This is Dick Schofield Sr. And then this is my primary reason for sending is I did have this 85 signed by his son, Dick Schofield Jr. And I was able to get Sr. to sign that as well. So that was a two for two success from him. And... Um, Let's jump into some hockey. And uh, hockey obviously has been kind of a big kick for me lately. Thanks to um, Shane at Shoebox Legends. I've been uh, really energized to kind of dive in hard. And I've been picking up some stuff and uh, sending it out. So it's been a lot of fun. This is a return from former San Jose Sharks, Montreal Canadiens, Minnesota North Stars goalie. Brian Hayward, and he signed all of the cards that I sent. Got a 92 upper deck there from the Sharks. I got a pro set with the Habs. 91 score. I just recently purchased this set. My LCS had one for like 10 bucks. Bought it, got it in the binder. Looks awesome. Also got the 1990-91 score with the Canadian sign. So really cool. Thank you, Mr. Hayward, for signing those and uh, getting another addition to the hockey collection. Next up, this one was a cool one to get back. I was really excited about it. Um, this is former Canadians player Russ Portnall. Got him on the 1990 Bowman. Again, these I love that hockey looks great signed because... You got a lot of like white from the ice and stuff that there's, you know, the autograph kind of pops. Um, and I like the blue on these just because it matches the Canadians jerseys and stuff. So it really kind of goes well. Got them on that pro set. This one kind of smudged a little bit on the end of the court and all. You'll see there the end of his name on the L's kind of smudged a little bit. It is kind of up on the blue of that sign behind him, but kind of bummer, but uh, I'll keep it. 91 score. And then this is a cool one, because this is the main one I wanted to get done. Again, keeping on the multi-card stuff, I got the uh, NHL Brothers card, but I don't know, I don't think Jeff is as good of a signer, so I'm going to have to kind of watch his signing habits and see if I can maybe uh, pick, pick that one off and get that one done. So um, the next one is 
a former Nordiques and Winnipeg Jets, North Stars as well, player Doug Smale. Got him on this Nordiques card there. We got him on the Pro Set, I believe, what, 91, 92? Correct me if I'm wrong, Shane, or any other hockey watchers out there. 1990 Bowman. Signed all these in black. Again, 91 score. 91, 92 score. And then the 1990, 91 score. So happy to get him into the collection. And obviously hockey, I don't have like any of these guys. So uh, this is all new, new blood for my auto collection here with the hockey guys. So, um... My next one, uh, I got four. He left two unsigned. But uh, again, cool to add a guy. This is Chris Janney. Signed in black. Let's see, here's one where the ice looks really good, where the uh, auto really pops. Because you got a lot of that ice on the card. There's kind of another one that looks great like that. He did sign a Bruins one for me, too. I guess that last one was a Bruins one. He left a couple Bruins ones though. He didn't sign the uh, he didn't sign the 1990-91 stuff. The score in the pro set. So he must have like a four card limit uh, there. This next one was huge, huge, huge. Um, this is a hockey return. This is the last of the hockey ones that I have. Um, and I'm gonna kind of speed this up. Obviously we're getting into 12 minutes, but I had 15 returns, so I'm trying to get. A little bit caught up here. So this might be a little bit longer than normal. I try to kind of keep it under 10. But uh, we're going to jump into a little bit of overtime here. Um, I took a flyer on this guy. And uh, I hadn't seen people getting returns from him in a while. But I thought, eh, I'm going to try it. And I am pumped that I did. And it was a fairly quick turnaround too. This is one of those like within three weeks I got it back. And I uh, was really excited to get this guy. Chris Chelios. Got him on the 1990-91 Tops. Got him on a newer OPC. I bought a bunch of these when I kind of started getting into hockey years ago. And then I just stopped, and now I'm jumping back into it. But I did save all my cards. So those are coming in handy to find some TTM fuel. And then I got him on the Pro Set All-Star Game card. So three for three from Chris Chelios. So really pumped about that. And then the last three that I have are football returns. And uh, jump into a Raider. We've got a former offensive lineman. And he's a great signer. So if you TTM football, you probably already have him. Don Mosbar. So I got him on the 91 Fleer. This is the 90 score. I think this is the, uh, the supplemental set, if I'm not mistaken. Oh, no. That's just number 530. I have a bunch from the of from that 1990 like supplemental that has the Emmett Smith rookie, and uh, I just bought like a huge lot of football one time, and it had a ton of those in it, but obviously no Emmett Smiths, right? Those had been picked out, but it did have a bunch of the other guys, which for TTM fuel, that's all, all good. Happy to take it. And I got him on the on the score there, so. Don Mosbar signed everything. Really excited to add him to my collection. I'd never gotten him. And then the next guy, he has also been a great signer. Looks like he signed everything as well. And these look really good. David Fulcher, former Cincinnati Bengals. I love their helmets. Um, you know, I'm not a huge Bengals fan. I liked them when I was a kid. And I liked them just because I totally love that helmet. So, um, always fun to get new guys in the collection so again these are all personalized that's fine i don't mind i just collect i don't sell i guess if i was going to trade these or anything to get some stuff i need i guess the glossy stuff though you can't pull you can pull that off if you're you know ambitious enough i don't but uh if somebody ever wanted one i guess and i was going to trade it I guess they could take it off if they want. So, um, then the next one is a chief, John Alt, and then we'll be done. Let's see if we can get this in here under 15 minutes. So, John Alt signed everything. I think he did six for six for me. 91 Fleer, 1990 score. 
Got them on the uh, 91 Pro set. And then here's a cool Bowman. I like this card. I like the image. The whole line block in there. So we're at 1510. That is it. 15 returns in the books. Um, I don't know how many more I'll get back. I'm sure I'll get a few trickling in here in the next uh, little bit of time. But I do have a bunch that are about ready to go. I just need to get the letters done for them. And I'm going to try to see if I can shotgun out another handful before I go. I don't know. It might be hard. I'm going to Arizona in a few days. Um, but uh, I will get some more out here soon so that I can hopefully share some more TTM returns. If you do have any questions about any of them, my email address is in the uh, about section of my page. Thank you for watching. If you're not subscribed, please do. Uh, we're almost to 400. And uh, appreciate all the support and the comments. And... Uh, yeah, keep sending them out. I love collecting autographs. I love seeing what everybody's getting. And I think lately, for me, the TTM game is going to be the only way I'm going to be able to get them. I'm going to Arizona, like I'd mentioned. And that was originally planned to be a big in-person autographing trip like I normally do for the fall league uh, in baseball. But they are enforcing a pretty strict no autographs policy down there. So um, it'll just be good to get down there, though. I'm excited to go. Uh, some great shops and to go see a Cardinals game, probably hit a Coyotes game, and uh, it'll just be good to get out of town. I need a vacation. I really do. It's been a long, crazy, difficult summer, so looking forward to going anyway. Even if I don't get any autographs, I just don't even care. I just need a vacation. So thanks, everybody, for watching, and we will see you on the next video. Have a good day, everybody.